Game two, so hitting the abyss for Team Fire. It's back to back LCS MVP. Put your hands together for Hooney's big brother, Renova! Y representando al equipo hielo, a veces los viejos amigos se convierten en tus peores enemigos. Pero maldita sea, quiero tener su pelo. Reckless! Yes. Oh, every time, every time. I'm getting to the point where I'm like, how many of these are there? How can they come up with new stuff every time? I think that's why we're splitting them up so we don't have Dash anybody there every time because by the finals, we have to like start getting really creative at that point. Yeah, we already got a little preview of a bye carrying Dash with his back, so you know, hopefully it holds out for the rest of the tournament. <laughs> Nobody's going to carry these guys, though. 1v1, yeah. mano a mano, Reckless. I'm actually really excited to see him in the tournament because where people are talking a lot about Soaz, I think Reckless actually has insane wave understanding from bot lane as an AD carry and just really solid mechanics as well. Yeah, and I think motivation is another thing too. He is playing All-Stars to win All-Stars. Every game mode, it's like no fun allowed. Reckless, let's go. He hates losing. Ah, there it is. The Kennen first ban is what actually Reckless, I saw him playing in the practice game. Yeah. So, no surprise there. Yeah, the Quinn that he pulled out as well and then Kayla and obviously <laughs> these are all really good AD carry bans. I like the Vanguard ban. It's a little dangerous for me to leave up Nasus versus yeah. the jungle player because it feels like that's the go-to cheese. Just tank Nasus and hope that you get to 100 CS quick. Yeah, everybody's saying like us junglers don't have mechanics. It's it's kind of true, but only when it comes to CSing, right? But with Nasus, you don't have to think about that. You E and you'll kill kill the whole back wave. Yep, kill the whole wave. I think Rainover is looking Whoa. more to uh, an all-in kind of style here, though. The hovers he was having so far. 20 seconds remain. I zoom in there actually blew my mind. Brand and uh, Lucian. It just looked like Lucian was on fire, and that's it. it like, same splash art. People have overlaid those splash arts and have, like, dug deep into the lore, and then they confirmed he wasn't actually. Ah, uh, they, they went too deep, and now I'm disappointed. Oh, well. But I wonder what he's going to play here, because a colleague don't think so. Nice Darius? Oh. oh. He actually locks it in. That's okay. super hard to play, because... If you play Darius versus dashing AD carries, you can interrupt the, the dashes usually, at least if you're lucky. But with Ezreal's shift, that's never going to happen. Yeah, how are you going to get to him? Uh, so you're talking about how you win in the win conditions. Darius, you have to kill him. But yeah. it's really hard to get to him, and he's slippery. And if Reckless actually takes Exhaust and Barrier, I don't really see Darius coming out with a win here unless there's a huge misplay by Reckless. Yeah, Rainover is going for pretty unique summer spells here. I hope Reckless realizes that that's coming, because that's actually pretty smart going for the Ghost. The Ghost and the Cleanse, something you could see on Olaf as well, just really desires that proximity. And yeah. Reckless obviously going for Exhaust, but it'll be nullified entirely. Yeah, if there is uh, a Cleanse coming out here, it is important to note that Cleanse doesn't just remove CCs, it removes Summoner spells yeah. as well. So the Ignite will actually go away on top of it. Definitely, but then it's up to Reckless obviously to never double stack those yeah. in an all-in. Just had a quick um, look, it is Rainover's running the fervor 18012 so fervor with 15 ad 6.3 armor and then 72 health so basically he's doing like an ad all in page with some tank stats that work well versus physical carry so that kind of is super standard. i will say though he will have a shove advantage with his q level 1 over the ezreal if he just decides to walk up straight into the lane he does go with those two summoner spells and reckless is also going with the aggressive set here Ooh, Reckless's rune page is actually really interesting. Ooh. The one he's running right now. He has 20% like attack speed, then a tiny amount of uh, physical damage, and then just some flat health. And he has one lifesteal Quint. So he's basically playing the push game. He's going to yeah. stack up that as well passive and just keep autoing the creeps over and over and over. He is not looking for all-in trades. He's just looking for repetitive shove, honestly, winning the match with lane control. And I assume he has fervor. Nope, he oh, has I'm sorry, warlords. warlords but, yeah. Sorry, that's what I meant. Fervor is not... Very yeah. good at all. Especially, it used to be good on Ezreal, but now everybody's just actually, I would take it in solo queue, but I would, wouldn't take it on this. Yeah, it, it's, Fervor, you think it's good because, you know, on additional auto attacks on Champion, I get so much attack speed for his passive. The problem is, if you're playing a CS game, you just want to stay alive. Sustain yeah. is so valuable. Yeah, you think about last year's, everybody was taking the, uh, oh my gosh, I can't even think of it. Uh, grasping on dying off yeah. the top of my head. There you go. Everybody was grasping up here. Reckless just trying to, like, focus the creep that his creeps are creep, uh, focusing as well here. And a little and down, then auto attacks in between. As long as it's the push, he can afford to go for those cheeky autos, because obviously he is range into melee. That is usually the trading pattern of a ranged champion into a melee champion. You want to get one creep lead on the push, then start trading. 
or at least finish off the creeps before the second wave meets. And this is good as well. Rainover's gonna walk up, try to get some damage on this, but Reckless gets constant auto attacks. Brush control is in Rainover's favor here, but the level two comes out for Reckless. Yeah, because Rainover is not level two yet. He gets punished for beating that Brush here. Oh, he got both summoners off. That's a good spot there, because he used both the Ignite and the Exhaust. So maximum value from Cleanse, but already on the back foot. This is why you do not want to be over pushing if you're Ezreal. You want to poke him down, but don't donate the creeps under the tower, because this is an experience race for Rainover. He doesn't want CS necessarily. He just wants to stay competitive so his items don't track too far behind. Yeah. But he's looking for that all in, especially in level six. I think you can wait for level six. Yeah, that's kind of his win condition here. Get to level six, try to punish Reckless for a misposition or being a little too far forward. But Reckless has full advantage in this game. He's going to go up in CS, he's going to go up in experience and shove. He's getting sucked into trading a lot, though, instead of focusing on the creeps. He always wants to punish Rainover when he walks up melee range, especially for these castle creeps. Yep. Also, both relics ended up spawning at 215. Rainover has a shove advantage here. Maybe he'll pick his up. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, picks it up. Has Corrupting Potion. Yeah, he used all stacks of it. So he's running dry right now, whereas Reckless has a continuous source of sustain in the Warlord. So oh, it's yeah. looking pretty good for the Swedish Wonderboy. Oh yeah, he's got Warlords, Lifesteal Quintessence, and he's also got the Dorans on top of it. So he's really healthy. So these points <laughs> where you gotta remain calm though. Everybody wants to shift in, finish off Rainover, but there's still a but chance that he can always beat you on the back end. If you're Rainover, you have to stay really calm because this is where like the house is burning down around you. <laughs> like this is fine. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> I don't know. This is fine. I picked Darius. It's great because. Now you're thinking, okay, maybe I didn't think this completely through. Maybe I want a 1v1 with this. And, yeah. I mean, he just has to keep thinking about yeah. the win conditions, which is getting to level 6 here. So we're narrow. Keep tracking that. Yeah. But obviously, Reckless, pretty good wave control so far. Honestly, a back behind, so he can afford to base. He doesn't really care if Rainover freezes this wave, because he'll just come back and shove it in. Uh, he's still enough CS ahead. Oh, this is interesting, because Rainover will have like 10 creeps on him. Yeah, yeah Reckless doesn't even care. He's like, I don't think you want to stop me there, buddy. Yeah. Tough walk up, take all the aggro, can and minion wave on top of it. A bit of a freeze here. Obviously more minions on the other side. But Rainover knows, as a melee champion, you don't want to be freezing. Freezing only works if you can punish the opponent for approaching you. Or it works if you're close to your turret and you won't have safety. I think it's better for Rainover to just solidify getting all that CS and then stack a wave on the other way. Maybe then he can threaten Reckless for an all-in. Yeah, that's a good point. And he Still has to wait about, I would say, like four more waves before he's going to be able to wait for that level six. Yeah, brutally long time. It's around like 50 CS. I think yesterday that most sixes were hit. So that would be exactly what you said right there. Yeah, it's about that six minute mark ish, a little bit higher. It's uh, a good trade for Rainover, I think. Oh, wait, he'll get the, he'll get the chase. It's yeah. good. Full HP versus full HP. Darius will always win in proximity. Now, Regus can sustain up, though. If there's another trade like this, obviously it'd be good for Rainover. He's level five. This could be a good precursor to the level 6 all-in. Exactly. That was a good test there, because if he's able to actually get that E off and Reckless isn't fast enough to actually have the Arcane Shift in return, uh, that's a good sign for Rainover. Right, we're looking at the Ghost as well. The Wave is in a great spot for Rainover, despite Reckless seemingly having control, because he can pop the Ghost right now. He's going in pre-6. Oh. Rainover? One more! Oh my god! Yep. Why would he go like yep. 6 <laughs> He needs the ulti to finish that. He needs to capitalize on those stacks. At that point, you got to go for broke. Yeah. Uh, okay, I lied. You don't wave. necessarily have to go for broke. <laughs> oh, you don't have to go for broke. You just wait. Because the wave.